The Parkes Radio Telescope, or as we call it, the DISH, will track Apollo 11 throughout its journey, gathering voice signals from the astronauts, telemetry from the spaceship, and then, most importantly, the TV signals from the moon itself. It's 210 feet in diameter, it weighs 1,000 tons, and can be moved to a point in virtually every direction. It's the most powerful receiving dish in the world. In the world. Now, can I have their full names and specific roles? Yes, this is Russ Mitchell. He's responsible for manoeuvring the dish. And this is Mr. Glenn Latham. Glenn's in charge of all the electronics. Glenn's a Sagittarius. He enjoys knitting, flower arranging. Mitchell, do not. Don't write that. And from NASA, Al Burnett. Al's here to make sure that all the signals get back safely to mission control. Enjoying your stay in Australia, Al? Very much, sir. The people are all warm and friendly. friendly. That's great. And you, Cliff, what's your official title? Cliff Buxton, director. Or the dishmaster. And just finally, I mean, no offence, but uh, when you think about it, the Americans spend 10 years, billions of dollars, to let us watch man walk on the moon, and in the end, it falls to you blokes. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about that? A lot better before you open your trap. We feel confident that uh, we have the expertise to complete our role. But Cliff, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is amazing. And so Australia finds itself a vital cog in this grand endeavor.